Alright guys, today we're out here on New England Mountains once again to continue the search for my most wanted rare which is the Melanistic Pheasant. I don't know how long it will take us to find one, but we won't give up. So on this occasion we'll be exploring our single player map where apart from having a certain chance to come across a Melanistic, we may also come across some of the diamonds we need to find on this reserve, like for example the Bob White Quill. You know, one of my goals on this game is to get every diamond of every possible reserve, and even though I already got a diamond quell on Mississippi Acres, I'm yet to find one here on New England. So if this max estimate track I just found leads us to an actual diamond, it would get us closer to achieving that goal. Now, talking about the Grey Fox grind, which is a grind that I just started here on New England, I took the time to place quite a few things next to the locations where I have fox train zones, as you can see this is what my current setup looks like and I already harvested like 20 foxes. So we can say that the grind for a melanistic, an albino and a leucistic grey fox has officially begun. Although I have to say that this is gonna be the most challenging grind I have ever done. It's really hard to spot the foxes through the thick brush here on New England, especially at night. And honestly expecting to kill more than 10-15 foxes per hour is unrealistic. I honestly wouldn't expect to get any of those rares before reaching 500 kills. So you do the math, if I plan to spend a couple hours grinding these guys per day and I kill 10 foxes per hour, that's roughly like 20 kills per day, 100 kills every 5 days and around 500 in 25 days. So it's gonna take a while. Ok, warning call. Let's see if we can finish the chase here. Alright, that's a big flock. It's gonna be hard to spot them. But if we drop a few, there's a chance we drop the max estimate. We got a couple, maybe the big one. And there's a third one over here. Which is down now. Well, we could actually get a fourth one if we managed to hit that one. We didn't. And there goes the flock again. Although they are quite far. I don't think we hit any. So gonna harvest the tree we shot and we'll see if one of them is the one we want. This one is a level 1 male. A level 2 male right here which in fact may be max estimate but it doesn't have the same plumage so it's not the same. And the third one we got is a level 1 female. Which means that the big one is still out there, we gotta find it. Oh look! They are flying this way. Let's see. That's one. They are landing. You know, the goal here is to kill as many as possible because that will increase our chances to end up harvesting the big one. I'm not even paying attention to the sporting information, the only thing I want is to shoot as many as I can and we got like 5. In fact, I think there's only one remaining, the one over there, which is a level 1. So the big one should be dead already, he's probably one of these. Let's see, this one is a female, then he got a male with a score of 232.88, he's the max estimate, and a really big max estimate, not a diamond but it's a huge level 2. And I wonder if this species can make it below level 3, I've never seen any posted but I guess it's possible. Alright guys, now we're exploring this area and I just stumbled onto the track of a max estimate bobcat. He may be a level 9 and apparently he's not too far because the tracks are very recent, so it shouldn't take too long to be able to figure out if he is actually a good candidate to be the first diamond of the hunt in our second diamond bobcat on New England mountains. Now, talking about the place that I used to get the trophies I shown in my videos, as you know there are two different methods or strategies you can use to consistently get diamonds and rares, one of them being grinding on single player with Tencent tripods and the second one being server hopping. Of course there are multiple ways to execute both methods, but when I talk about server hopping I think about wandering around the map looking for tracks and chasing those max estimates. You know, that's the way I like to play on multiplayer and actually the way I like to play this game, but I'm also open to grinding in some occasions like I just did to get a Mela Fallout here, 
So if you have any suggestions for future grinds that you would like me to see me do in addition to the Grey Fox grind, please let me know down in the comment section. Alright, we're finally reaching an open area where we may have the opportunity to finally spot this potential level 9 Bobcat. Well, there are no signs of it. I honestly thought it was gonna be easier to find them, but for one reason or another we haven't had a chance, and the chase is getting longer. Oh, there he is. Is he a level 7? Level 8 or a level 9? Let's see. Level 8. 26 to 29 estimate. He could be massive. Actually, both the mythical Bobcats and the mythical Lynxes can score really close to Diamond. I've seen a couple in the 27.5 range. And if we're lucky, this guy will score close to that. Now, let's see how big it is. Hopefully, he's massive. 27.21 gold. He's a pretty decent sized male that is actually close to the level 9 weight, and we hit the stomach, the liver, and the right lung. So let's continue and let's see if we can come across something even bigger. Alright, guys, I just saw a massive Coronel Rabbit, she just ran past me. I was about to check her track right here, which as you can see is a max estimate. And then I saw this rabbit running right next to me, heading towards that direction. She's a diamond potential. So let's begin the chase and let's see if she's our first diamond Coronel Rabbit on New England mountains. You know, currently, the Coronel Rabbit and all the rabbits and hares in general are not working as intended. I mean, there's a bug that affects all these species that essentially causes them to walk when they should be fleeing. So instead of running for, let's say, 100 meters after being spooked, they only do a short run of a couple meters and then they keep walking as if nothing happened, which of course makes it incredibly easy to approach them and way more boring to hunt them. And there he is. He's a level 2, so you may think that he's not that big and there's no reason to be excited, but the key here is the trophy estimate. You know, all the level 2 Coronel Rabbits with a trophy estimate of 1 to 2 have a really high chance to make it, probably around 20-30%. And as I was saying, due to the bug that is affecting all the ponies, this guy is walking when she should be fleeing. So anyway, let's see if she's our first time on Coronel Rabbit on New England Mountains. Fingers crossed. 1.95, the diamond score is 1.97, so this guy was insanely close. Unfortunately, it didn't score high enough, but it's still a very nice trophy. Let's continue. Now we're back on the Grey Fox grind, currently doing this river run, where I've been having a decent amount of success, killing more than 10 foxes. I actually just shot a mythical right here, which scored 5.98, and right before I went to harvest it, a level 9 fox came out of nowhere, and I saw him fleeing over there. So I reset the time to avoid having to chase him at night, and there he is again. The first max level of the grind, right before hitting 50 kills. I'm honestly not sure if he is product of the response, because before spotting it I hadn't checked this area, so I would say it's likely this guy is an initial spawn that was here way before I started this grind, and I'm trying to see the fur type, I believe he's a grey or a two-tone, so we're gonna shoot him using the 243 ranger, which will actually be the first time I use it on this grind, because I've been doing all the shooting with the Sarsa, and in fact I've been killing both males and females, first of all, because both genders can reach level 9 and both genders can be diamond, and second, talking about the rares, I honestly couldn't care less if they are male or female. Alright, let's drop this guy. He is down. Here we have it, it is actually a two-tone, which is a beautiful fur type, and it has a score of 6.46, he's a diamond, barely, 
but it is the first diamond of the grind. Hopefully the first of many. We will see how long it takes us to get the rares we want, but I just wanna say that we won't go super hard on this grind because I also wanna visit other maps before the release of the next reserve. 